I found the machine and uh, I was treating patients with retinitis pigmentosa, which is a degenerative disease of the eye. It usually starts when they're a child and works its way up. And I have found some, some protocols that, that really help restore vision to people uh, or patients that have been legally blind and now can read a deck of cards as good as you or me. Having said all that, then when I get ran into the WATA, uh, it's, it, the way it's chemically constructed, I thought would really be a, a, a concomitant with what I was doing. This machine breaks down water into a gas, a very fine gas, and in doing so releases ions or electrons that are equivalent to your own electrons that are given off by your own mitochondria. These little organelles, like they're in every cell of the body, and they make energy. And the energy they make is ATP, breaks down to ADP, gives off an electron. The electrons this thing carries are the same as your own, so it bypasses eating, digesting, uh, going into the blood, going through the cell membrane, going through the mitochondria membrane. It's a shortcut. But the front of the eye, the cornea if you will, is only nourished by your tears. It has no blood supply in or out. And so it occurred to me that this water gas may be permeable to the cornea and nourish the eye. And that's exactly what it did. This is easy. All right, ready? Okay, here we go. There. Yeah. Is it on? Yep. There you go. Can you feel the, the, the stream of air on your eyes? Okay, now it goes right through the cornea because the cornea is water soluble to your tears and this is a gas made out of water. But also, your eyelids, the circulation from your eyelids is slightly different than the rest of your body and it goes back into your brain. So you can close your eyes for a minute at a time and then open and then, you know, I wouldn't keep them closed and for minutes at a time, but a minute at a time and wait about five or six minutes before you do that again. And just blink on and off now and then. Every time you blink, it helps absorption, okay? Because you're, you're stirring the, the gas that is mixed with the water on your eye through it. And we're getting remarkable results just spraying this gas made out of water into the eye and getting remarkable results. Each individual is different, but I have an accountant that works for me he, had, he has uh, glaucoma and cataracts. And he got to the point where he couldn't drive at night, and then he got to the point where he couldn't drive uh, in the daytime. He was getting lost, he couldn't read the signs. So he asked to go on the machine, and I said, of course. We put him on the machine, and I, I, I invented these goggles that we're using just to spray the gas onto the eyes. He did one hour treatment, it didn't do that much. And so he came back, he said, let's try it again. And he only had time for a half hour treatment. And he, he was debating whether to do it because the sun was setting. He did the half hour treatment and then left very quickly. And unbeknownst to him, he gets in his car, starts driving home and everything was as clear as a bell. Ice clear. And the glow that you get from cataracts around the light source, disappeared, the signs were sharp, and he went, home away, he went home a different way than usual and he could read the signs perfectly. So that's one happy story from this machine. He said my night vision is going to be really different tonight, and I hope so, because I'm at an age where I'm starting to form cataracts, and so I'm really hoping that this is going to start dissolving the cataracts. I'm like really excited.